I've always been an artist. For some reason, I've always been compelled to do artwork, somehow, some way. That's one thing prison afforded me, was a multitude of time to, to really be and do it. Right from the beginning, we set up a structure that we've basically followed all along, which is that we go to the prisons and we work with a special activities coordinator. The artists who had work would come gather in a room like a classroom or sometimes a gym or even a chapel, and we would come in and we would look at all the work and we would socialize with them. And what we learned was this was really, really important because it was the only time that they got to gather in an informal setting and see each other's work. So it was a social event where they got to see each other's work and talk and we got to talk with everybody. In prison, a lot of people need portrait work done. And so it turned into a livelihood, which I didn't want to do the time anymore. I didn't want to be under them that oppressive, it was just a horrible way to live and I, I just came to a point where I didn't, I gave it all up. And PCAP came into my life just like as abruptly as, as a, a bee that flies by you or something. I was sitting there waiting to make my move to commit suicide when the doors broke. During evening chow, mass movement, I had my noose all braided up, I had a hot shot of heroin, I mean I was serious. But anyway, I'm waiting there to do it and they pass out mail and a letter came through my my bars, and it was from Buzz Alexander, inviting me to participate in this exhibit. It, it was the moment of truth, it flipped everything, it stopped me in my tracks. I just, here's this man who didn't even know me. I had nobody in my life at the time, I was totally alone, and, and it just encouraged me to just go hard, peek up, save my life that day. Art became uh, uh, everything for me, and not just me, but many uh, prisoners. It changed the entire way men do time, and women as well. It changed being in a mundane, depressive environment to a, a an exciting, upbeat environment. As long as you were incarcerated, you always had a wall you could lean on, that you could draw strength from, and that was the art. Uh, you could not make me believe prior to art that that could do something for men in prison. Never had an idea, never thought it possible, never heard of it, but it became a staple in men's prisons to join the art project and become an artist. It's so important to support prisoner art some of the best artists are unfortunately in prison, and some of them will never leave that place. So you don't understand how much it means to them to feel appreciated, to be acknowledged, and to have a voice in promoting themselves out there. Making art in the whole. Um, the whole is segregation. They strip you of everything. You have nothing, you, you, you get a jumpsuit and a pencil about this big and a couple pieces of paper, small, and you get sheets and a blanket and that's it. And I made, while in that time, I made a four foot sculpture of a mermaid. I started out, when I'd go to the shower, the, you know, they'd give you these little green pieces of soap, just a small piece of soap, you can wash your body with it once. But I started gathering those up and they give you a styrofoam cup with your meal on your tray and I stole a couple of those and I'd put the soap in there and I'd soak it in water and I'd make the soap turn back into liquid almost. It'd be like clay. You'd mash it up and make clay out of it. And I was taking toilet paper and I would chew the toilet paper up and I would turn it into this pliable paper mache and I'd mix the soap with it and I started forming the body and a base for it and the guards thought it was amazing, so they, they let me get away with it, they let me do it. It was ecologically correct, I called it. Something I learned, a learning process that I learned that you can make art, ecologically correct art. You can go around and collect junk and make art. Being in a prison hole and the inner artist trying to come out is, is what produced that. As an artist and as an art educator, I am just thrilled to go in to these prisons and see this work that arises out of 
these harsh conditions and the ingenuity and the talent and and then talking to people and hearing their stories I just started to feel like I have to tell this I have to bring this into the world I felt like I was at the place that I needed to be going into prisons because this is the darkest place in in our country and this is the this is the worst place and this is where art can thrive. I have to say, basically, if it wasn't for the University of Michigan's program, the men that I'm speaking of could not have done that. I'm speaking specifically of uh, the men that I've personally encountered. I've known them, and I know that they've, they were really depressed throughout their entire incarceration, and they had given up on life. And then when they got involved in art, art changed their lives and they began to care about their lives and they began to care about other lives. So that was what art does. It doesn't just uplift a particular prisoner. It also uplifts sometimes, oftentimes, an entire family. I want people to see that people who are living in prison are complex just as we all are. Making art is a way of growing the human spirit. So I want this to be a reference for all kinds of situations, for why we should have art in the schools, why we should have art in the prisons, and also to see that art making is one of the basic human activities. I am most proud of that I took a leap of faith and I did something that was out of my comfort zone and actually was good at it. And I didn't let the fact that because I went to prison define me and I didn't allow it to get me down and stay in this funk. Everything that I said that I was gonna do, I'm doing. So I'm definitely proud of myself for that. I don't look at prison as a punishment. It was a wake up call. And it was definitely a humbling experience because I've learned so much about myself and it's also helped me to appreciate people more and appreciate the littlest things in life. And so if I can make it, I know that anyone can.